Hi, this is John from Remotofy.io. In this video, I will show you how to set up Control Surface Studio to work with Ableton Live. After logging into Control Surface Studio for the first time, if you look at the top menu, you will see that the settings menu icon, the cog icon, has a red dot next to it. This is telling you that some settings need configuring. Open the settings menu by clicking on the cog icon. In here, you can see that there are currently three messages. Ableton Live Location Not Set, Live Version Not Set, and Log.Text Location Not Found. To remove these, first we need to set the location of our Ableton Live app file. Click on the Browse button next to Ableton Live Location and navigate in the Browse window to your installation of Live. Click it, then click Open. You will see that both Live Location and MIDI Remote Script Folder Location have updated with the file path you selected. It's important that the path set for MIDI Remote Script Folder Location is correct or else Control Surface Studio will not be able to generate scripts into the folder which Ableton Live uses. So it's worth quickly checking that this folder exists on your computer. Click the menu next to Live Version and choose the version of Live you are currently using. After doing this you will see the log.txt location populate with a path to the log.txt file for this version. Ensure that the file path is correct. If it isn't, you can manually select the log.txt file location with the browse button. You can now close the settings menu by clicking anywhere outside it. To confirm that you are set up correctly, there are two steps. First, click the orange install button next to the default script, my first script. If you see the green message appear on the right which says, my first script installed then Control Surface Studio was able to generate the script in the selected folder for MIDI Remote Script folder location. Second, open Ableton Live. If it's already open, close and reopen it. Go to Live Preferences menu and select the Link slash MIDI tab. Click on the menu under Control Surface and scroll down. You should see a script named CSS My First Script. In order to avoid overwriting Live's default scripts, Control Surface Studio automatically prefixes the script name with CSS. If you see CSS My First Script in your list, then you are all set up and ready to start building your own custom scripts. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more Control Surface Studio tutorials.